Street, Court Street. I heard the complaint about the road, the wall up on Court Street, which I've been doing for the last four and a half years. Mike, you know you're my council member up there. Talking to you is like talking to the wind. I don't get nothing from you. Two and a half years ago, between you and Butch Friday, you had the money from the fuels to redo the wall and redo the road. That's two and a half years ago. This year, we're going to have uh, contractors come up, get on the walls, this and that, nothing's done. It's four and a half years. It's a safety feature up there. You've been up there, Butch been up there, the mayor's been up there, you see it, and nothing done. God forbid, one of these days I'll get boy, he's been up there, you see it up there. If somebody backs up, goes too far, because now everything is overgrown, and if they think they can go back a little farther, that's a 24th drive. What's going to cost the city more? The law? Or the lawsuit if somebody goes by that law, and God forbid, that hurt will kill them. I'd like to know what the mayor and Mrs. Council are going to do about it. It's been four and a half years. My problem up there is a dead end street. I'm the last house, it's the turn around, and I'm the only one that's complaining. Do you have an answer for that? Well, what happens to the money from liquid fuel? We tried to say two and a half years ago. I understand. Oh, yeah, Mr. Kemp. Pardon me? I can't allow back to the court. Are you done? Are you going to want to say these things? Well, I would like to have an answer. Pardon me? We will try to answer that for you, but I want to make sure you have all your questions. Okay, I'm okay. I am in full agreement with you that one, the wall needs to be put up. Two, somehow that road needs to be widened so an emergency vehicle can turn around. So if an ambulance or fire engine goes up there, they don't have to back down. Do we have the money to do it? I'll be honest with you, we do not have the money. Okay. Can I answer that question? Well, hold on, sir. I told you the last time we spoke that Coach and I, we tried to get with um, Kurt Sauer to see what kind of money we could get for this. We did get an estimate, Coach. I believe it was $276,000 to fix this the right way. And I'm not even sure if that included the road being being wired. It doesn't have to be a state of the art wall. Not one, but it's a dead end. It's the turnaround right there. You go by the, over there by the old women's prison where they have that stone wall there. That's been up for over 20 years. This one was enough where they throw the, the stone and the fence in it. Put it right on it. And then you, you wouldn't have any uh, water back there. You just have water coming down from the hill. Or up on River Street where they got the new complex there. They put that concrete block to it. Just a simple wall. Mm -hmm. The last time you we were here, yeah. I was I was here, and you had asked me about the liquid fuel. We did in fact say we were going to. We thought we had enough liquid fuel money to pay for it. The initial estimate that came back. You told me six to eight weeks. Are you going to let me talk? Go ahead. Just listen. I'll give you the answer. All right. The liquid fuel money was a part of a, a Pennsylvania infrastructure bank that we use to repair walls, not only on, on Solomon Creek, on Lower Road Creek. Uh, we did some street paving with it, we did some infrastructure repair. By the time we got to something that, quite honestly, I, I, you know, somebody has to make these decisions. What's more important, fixing a wall at Oro Run Creek or Mill Creek or Solomon Creek or fixing a wall on a dead end street? The decision was to use the money on the Creek walls. We did one on Mineral Street, we did one on, on the Waller Street. There was not enough money to fund this with the Creek fuels. We then went, reached out to Kurt Sauer Community Development. A uh, block grant was available. We got bids on, on the project. They were open publicly right here. Every bid came in $110,000 higher than what we had money to do the project. That's where it stands today. I told Kirk you just what to do, just fucking buy me out, knock my truck wall down, and you got a turn around. I'll sell you the house. That's not my decision. And that would be the end of the deal. Well, I don't make those. It'd be a hell of a lot cheaper for you. Okay, okay. Sorry. <coughs> 